Well, good afternoon and welcome everyone. Today's review has now brought us here for a much more up close and personal encounter with the 2014 Hyundai Elantra Limited. And now, with all of that being said, this is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the Elantra Limited. And this does entail a complete startup and overview of the engine, as well as a good look at many of the unique and notable styling cues and multiple features, technologies, and creature comforts that now make up this newly revised top spec version of Hyundai's most award-winning four-cylinder compact vehicle. And so, bearing all that new information in mind, let's go ahead and climb aboard and we'll check it out. To begin with, our fully loaded limited tester today is wearing the pearl white exterior. Our particular vehicle here is also sporting the available technology package for the limited Elantra, features of which we'll cover at their appropriate time during the review. Now as standard equipment on the limited trim level of the Elantra sedan and coupe, it does come standard with Hyundai's proximity key. Basically put, you get this newly sculpted key fob here, which provides complete remote free access into the vehicle along with a standard push button ignition. Gaining entry into the Elantra is as simple as having the key fob anywhere on your person, such as I have it there in my pocket. And as you just saw just a moment ago, we just unlocked the Elantra. And both the locking and unlocking is done through the small black square button hidden fleshly into the two front door handles. To lock and unlock, just simply press it once. One beep indicates locking, and two beeps indicates unlock. And beautifully complementing the brightness and depth of this pearl white exterior, our particular tester's interior has been fully upholstered in the standard beige perforated leather. Now to start this particular Elantra Limited, all you have to do is have the key fob anywhere within the vehicle, and put your foot on the brake, and simply locate and hit this beautiful silver illuminated start button in the dash to fire up the engine. And instantly that little 1.8 liter four cylinder engine bursts into life. Now as for the steering in the Elantra Limited, it's still Hyundai's hydraulic speed sensitive power assisted steering. Very smooth and providing excellent feedback through the wheel overall. This steering system also does have three adjustable modes, but we'll cover that a little later in the review. Now with the Limited being the top spec trim level for the 2014 Elantra and soon to be 2015 Elantra, it comes with a full four spoke leather trimmed multifunction steering wheel with full accents of painted silver on both sides of the wheel, along with full sets of electronic buttons and controls for all sorts of creature comforts throughout the vehicle. Also a nice soft grain material here for your standard airbag cover. Now regardless of which trim level you pick, be it the SE, Sport, or Limited, many trim levels will come with their own specific transmissions. The most common transmission found in the Limited is this electronically controlled six-speed Shift-Tronic automatic transmission with available Shift-Tronic manual shifting capabilities via the plus and minus button here to the left-hand side of the drive portion of the shifter. And also with our vehicle today having the upgraded technology package which includes this much bigger navigation screen and onboard navigation system, it does come with a reverse backup camera. And also as, as an additional safety feature, the Elantra does come standard with child protective electronic safety locks which will automatically lock the vehicle when all doors are closed and the car is put into gear and will only unlock the vehicle when the car is put back into park and the ignition is switched off. Very nice. The driver's side window in this particular vehicle is automatic in both directions. And once you close the door to the Elantra Limited with the key fob in your possession, you can hear that the vehicle generates a rather elongated electronic chime to let you know that it's lost detection of the proximity key fob. 
Now, depending on which trim level you pick, be it SE, Sport, or Limited, you have a choice of two available power plants. Only the Sport trim level carries the much more upgraded 2-liter dual overhead cam gasoline direct injected 4-banger, but all the rest of the Elantras, be it SE and Limited, all come with one standard available engine. Underneath the Elantra and being carried since 2011 sits Hyundai's 1.8 liter dual overhead cam 16 valve inline four cylinder engine. Unlike some of the newer power plants, this one does not have gasoline direct fuel injection. However, it does have dual continuous variable valve timing. This particular unit carries a healthy output of 145 horsepower and 130 pound feet of torque. EPA fuel economy estimates on regular unleaded gasoline are 27 miles per gallon in the city and 37 miles per gallon on the interstate highway on recommended regular unleaded gasoline. Now let's take a couple of revs of that little 1.8 liter four cylinder engine and see what kind of soundtrack she produces. Now with the engine being of a smaller displacement, it does pr produce a little bit more of a tighter, more revy exhaust note. Sounds absolutely wonderful with all those 145 horses strapped down. And now, with all of that being done, let's go ahead and turn on the headlights. You do have the option of them being automatic, being that they are standard projector lights. Turn on the fog lights and the hazard lights as usual. And now let's take this opportunity to take a quick peek at the exterior of the Elantra Limited. Now, unlike the SE and the Sport, the Limited pretty much adds every available feature you can think of in the Elantra's book. For a beginning start, the Limited comes with LED accents running along the small white portion here, unlike the painted white portion, which has been in both the uh, SE and the Sport that we've looked at so far, and they all surround the standard halogen projector lights. You can see it also comes standard with chrome ring fog lights. Standard chrome accented upper and lower grille. Now to really differentiate the Limited from all the other trim levels for the 2014 Elantra, this car comes standard with 17-inch painted two-tone aluminum alloy wheels. Two-tone being that the inner portions of the spokes are painted in this beautiful anthracite dark gray, and the outsides are painted a small polished metal, and they have this very beautiful fan blade design versus the standard five-spoke design like we saw on the Sport. Monochromatic LED turn signal equipped paint matched mirrors. Intermittently timed rain sensing wipers. Also standard on limited is a power tilting one touch sliding sunroof. Also standard on Elantra Limited and optional for the Elantra Sport are full sets of LED taillights.
rear heated automated defrosting glass. You can see your shark fin style antenna for your XM satellite radio. And also, as you can see, to differentiate the Limited even more from all the other trim levels, you can see these chrome-plated door handles. And although this car looks a little bit basic in terms of its overall construction and design, having seen all of the other trim levels as well, some of the features on this car are actually quite revolutionary for their time. Consider, for example, just briefly, we just talked about the fact that this thing has intermittently timed rain sensing wipers. Well, one of the things that this car also has is sort of an automatic defogging system without you ever having to turn on the defroster in the morning, say on a cold morning and you want to turn on the heater, or on a hot day and turn on the air conditioning. Basically how this automatic defogger works is that it actually will sense the humidity via an outside sensor in the vehicle, will automatically adjust the temperature inside the vehicle, and will also then completely purify the air and dehumidify the entire interior. Quite a lot of options for such a little car. But now that we've had a good look around the exterior of the Elantra Limited, let's go ahead and take a better look at the luxury interior. As stated previously, this particular vehicle is sporting the beige premium perforated leather interior. You can see the heavily perforated accents here in the lower part of the seat and also the upper part of the seat. In natural form on in the top spec vehicle, the power uh, driver seat is fully functional. You've got your power adjustable back and forth, power recline, and power lumbar support. So I've also got these turned aluminum sill plates. Beautiful dark gray finish running here along the door panel, starting here just above the air vent. And as you would expect on such a luxury vehicle, you do get plentiful amounts of powered amenities, including power mirrors, power door locks window locks, automatic one-touch driver side window in both directions, along with the rest of your power windows. Moving over here, you've got your traction control, instrument dimming, and also your active eco mode, which we've touched in a launcher before, but we'll go, go ahead and go over it again. Also, as you can see, standard drink holders in each of the doors for the front driver and rear, uh, left rear passenger, and also the passenger in the right front and right rear. And here the door closes with a nice soft thunk. And once you step inside the Elantra Limited, you really notice that the vehicle is a lot more different than some of its lesser trim levels. As far as aesthetics go, it's still pretty much the same build quality and materials. The dashboard is padded with a nice soft grain, very almost rubber-like material. Not so much in the way of like hard plastics, like a little bit more of the basic trim levels might feel. You can see here on the door, a little bit more of a hard touch feel, but you've also got leatherette padded door panels. Also nice leatherette padded armrest here. Again, the dark gray painted material, and also the sort of rubberized light coating for the uh, surrounds around the switches and so on. Also, as mentioned, this one has the full leather trim steering wheel. So a nice soft, supple feel with nice grip extensions up top. And speaking of the steering wheel, let's go over a little bit of the creature comforts that you'll have in this vehicle. For a start, you have hands-free radio, you have even the ability to mute the radio, your active cruise control, and so on. You also have these three buttons down here. Now these two are what you'd expect, your trip meter and also the ability to reset it. Now the trip meter, that accesses things up here on your small LCD display. And that basically starts with uh, your active miles per gallon, your average mile per hour, your um, time spent driving the vehicle, so on and so forth. But one of the interesting ones here is the button that's labeled mode with a little steering wheel on it. You push it and at the top of your little display, you can see you have a mode that says comfort, one that says normal, and then one that says sport. 
And basically what that is, is it's, it's actually a uh, steering mode system, as I mentioned earlier. The comfort mode is a lot more of a fluidic, very easy to turn steering wheel, nice and fluid. Normal mode sharpens the steering a little bit. And then of course, sport gives you a nice stiff communicative feel throughout the wheel. So a nice, sharp, sporty driving appeal. And you, I guess you could say this car has a bit of a split personality. Moving over here into the center console, we definitely have a lot to talk about because although this vehicle has a much bigger screen, this one has the fully upgraded technology package. Now, the tech package adds the much wider screen. You do get navigation, unlike um, the 4.2 inch display that's in the Sport and also in the SE. But in this one, you can see it's a nice big wide screen. The graphics are definitely legible, easy to read. You've got your menu, points of interest, XM active traffic updates, which basically you can press that and it tells you all of the different traffic sort of congestion areas in your area. And basically what you can do is that allows you to, um, it allows you to uh, pick your destination a little bit better, get you there in the fastest way possible. Over here on the left, you can see AM FM radio along with your XM satellite radio and media buttons. Also over here, your map button, as I showed you before, set different destinations and also different routes. Down here below, you have your seek track button uh, different tunable radio buttons, your enter button, also the radio power button and volume knob here in the center, and also vehicle information and also Hyundai's Blue Link setup. Now as far as the stereo system in here, it's a full premium audio system. Turn it to a good station. And also, as you can see, radio power button, as we just mentioned a little bit. Over here, as you can see, beautiful illuminated engine start button with nice little blue illumination. And down when you get to the climate controls, this is where the Elantra Limited really differentiates itself compared to the Sport and SE for multiple different reasons. For one, the dual zone climate control system in here is optional and it's only optional on the Limited. Uh, you can't get it really in Sport or SE. Those are a single zone system. But how it works is you've got your fan speed down here. Push the button to turn it off. Introducing AC and air conditioning recycling dual temperature controls and front and rear defroster. But one addition of this climate zone system, aside from the automatic defogger, which I mentioned just a bit ago, is the clean air ionizer and air purifier. Basically, when you turn the air conditioning on, um, this little slot here acts as a uh, small filter. And basically what it does is gives you, well, the cleanest air available. So when you're turning on the air conditioning, even if you don't have the air conditioning recycling on, it will uh, still give you a nice, clean, beautiful environment to uh, breathe and not bring in all of the stuff from outside because there are a lot of people with allergies nowadays and that definitely will help a lot of those who have a lot more allergic reactions to things outside. Down here, you've got small little slots for various storage. You can put like your mobile phone and stuff right there. Standard iPod USB and auxiliary inputs and a 120 volt, 12 watt, 12 watt outlet or 120 watt, 12 volt. Down here for your shifter, nice, beautiful piece of leather trimmed shift knob. You also have your um, beautiful piece of silver here. Also a nice piece of black piano veneer, which if you notice, there's a lot less of it in this car compared to the Sport and SE that we looked at earlier. This one also has a nice leather trimmed and stitched shift boot. A little bit more of the black piano veneer for the numerics, but also the nice dark shadow gray plastic trim here surrounding the uh, entire center console. Nice little padded center console here. Up top, as you can see, sunglasses holder, internal reading lights, and one touch automatic sunroof in both directions. with a small manual sunshade, just like that. And up here on the mirror, you can see you have your SOS button, different uh, map and directions, and also a Hyundai uh, Blue Link button. Very nice. 
Now briefly, before we continue on with this vehicle, one thing that a lot of people have been asking is about the Active Eco system. Uh, the Active Eco, in plain English, basically with the Active Eco mode off, you basically are in control of how much fuel mileage you're getting. So whatever you, or however you drive the vehicle is how the car is going to perform fuel mileage wise. However, with the Active Eco mode on, basically it adjusts your throttle and also your transmission timings to allow the vehicle to be driven at its most fuel efficient. So with the active eco mode on, let's say you're cruising on the freeway, you can get over 40 miles to the gallon in this car. However, turn that off and it will actually vary depending on your driving habits. Overall though, the Elantra Limited definitely offers a much more luxurious touch to a everyday four-door mid-sized compact vehicle. Definitely nice. But with all that in mind, let's go ahead and turn off the engine. Simple as that. And now let's take this opportunity to check out the rest of the Elantra Limited. As to be expected, it has space for five people comfortably. Also here for the rear, on both the left rear passenger and right rear passenger, you have a single stage heated rear seat for limited models only. Now having the seat where I would normally drive the vehicle, we have probably about two or three inches of actual clearance between the front of my knees and the back of the seat. Now. This is all dependent on how tall your driver is. So if you're tall, your driver's like six foot five, you're probably not gonna wanna sit right behind him. But there is still plentiful amounts of legroom back here, and headroom is actually quite good for a small size vehicle as well. Ergonomics back here are aesthetics in the interior. You can see the seats are quite plush, but yet firm enough to actually sit on without sinking into them like a leather sofa. A nice little leather bound center console. And also, like Elantra's before, it does have 60-40 split-fold rear seats. Now the Elantra's trunk can either be accessed via the keyless access fob or simply by the touchpad under the Hyundai logo. And once you open it up, you get quite a generous amount of trunk space. Also included is a Hyundai supplied cargo net. Again, as you can see, 60-40 split fold seats. Access through these pull triggers right here. Just like that. As you can see, Seat folds all the way down with a small little Velcro patch here in the middle, providing a seamless entrance between the rear compartment of the vehicle and entrance into this. Now one thing that definitely keeps coming up in a lot of our Elantra tests is quality in this vehicle. Just listen when you shut the door. Not so much a tinny or sort of metallic rattle, but more so a nice, soft, authoritative thunk. As far as standard safety features go, for those who are curious, the Elantra comes standard with dual stage front impact airbags, side curtain and side impact airbags, and also electronic stability control, ABS, and pre-seat belt tensioners. Sitting in the passenger side of the vehicle, granted the seat right now is not in its most optimal position, but you can definitely stretch out even for someone of a taller stature. Your glove box is damped, it falls nice and softly. All of your appropriate reading materials and so on. And also just down by my left knee, you see another 12 volt, 120 watt outlet. The Elantra Limited definitely is a well-built package, providing luxury touches to an everyday economy vehicle while still maintaining the same level of good fuel economy and affordability. So 
So viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this rather in-depth look at the 2014 Hyundai Elantra Limited. If you wish to contact our dealership about this particular vehicle or find out more information, please feel free to visit your local Hyundai dealer, or if you live here in the local Houston metropolitan area, please feel free to visit one of our three locations at Baytown Hyundai on Interstate 10, Humble Hyundai on Interstate 59 North, and also North Freeway Hyundai located on the famous Interstate 45. Until then viewers, hope you guys had a great time and I'll see you guys later.